Hey YouTube friends, just wanted to do a uh, one quick look before we bust out the torch and start cutting her apart here. So let's see here, we'll show. There's the width. There it is there. Got everything inside the garage, it's a little tight in here right now. Of him. I got it up on a car stand and uh, get ready. I'm going to take the cutting edge off of it and then do my uh, cut it separately and then I'll cut the sides off of it and cut the top down and whatnot. But all right, get ready to cut him off. All right. down a pretty good bit but um really closely resembles about the size of what the original plow would be for this tractor this thing's it's about five feet wide um and i put the cutting edge on it it's a little funky looking now it looks better when the cutting edge is on because it hangs down another four inches below the bottom and then uh those feet those skid feet there I'm gonna put them on, I'll hug them in very right close to here. So it'll get a little weight back to it. It's really light right now, which is great. I'd rather this be a little bit light and that be a little heavy than this be too heavy and that be, that be too light and end up with a problem. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a little scaled down now. Like I said, I'll get the cutting edge put on, and when I put the cutting edge on, I'm going to let it overhang about an inch on the side here, and that'll help it catch this wheel track over here. It hangs over good when it swings that way, and vice versa, when it when it swings this this direction, it'll hang, you know, equal as much over this side, and then this one here, that little bit of extra cutting edge will help catch that wheel track. So help it out overall, and uh, I think the cutting edge not being bolted here We'll give a little shock factor, kind of some spring factor to it. Um, so I really almost wish I had left it out to this um, bolt hole here. But I was just really worried about the width of it and the leverage it's going to have um, and hurting the rest of the frame or, or the tractor itself where it mounts back there on that drop down final drive that they have um and also the weight wise carrying around uh, you don't want it too heavy and overload the front end of the tractor when it's riding around like that so i think it was a nice compromise like i say right now it looks a little odd because it's so small but once it gets the feet on it and the cutting edge is hanging down and there'll probably be some type of a top piece in here um, in between those angle I have to come up with some type of a spring to go in there uh, for the release on a blade that'll also help from overloading anything in the in the back the original springs I thought about shrinking them down a little bit and making them work but I'm afraid at this point I don't know I don't know if they'd be too heavy or not so but it wouldn't be too bad to cut them cut them in a coil and then heat the last one up and bend it up and make a loop in it and make it work I, I might still do that so if anything yeah they could be stiffer because the plow when it was up here there was a lot more leverage pulling on that spring than when it's down here it's a lot shorter distance so i really i need a lighter duty spring that's just all there is to it so but that's our for now most of the torch work is done got a little bit i got a cut there's a couple plates down there from where that had a power angle to it so i gotta cut them off get those brackets cut off for those uh feet and then a little bit of welding
That's all for now.